So we have a our um, stock all of our setup stuff done here. The stock is defined. Our geometry is oriented, um, and the stock is uh, set relative to the world coordinates. Next, we we're all done right here at the setup tab. We'll move over to the create tab, and we can skip over all of uh, this stuff. We don't really need to mess with that. And today we're going to be talking about two and a half access machining, um, which means uh, essentially using uh, 2D geometry and doing uh, 2D cuts like the laser cutter. Although it's two and a half because we will, there is some up and down in the Z depth, but not true 3D. So if we click on this, we have s lots of different options. Pocketing, which is cutting um, everything out of the uh, inside of some geometry. Um, profiling is cutting on one side of a line to cut something out. Uh, Remachining, we won't really get into um, these thing, v-carving, engraving, chamfering, these are all um, other processes. We're going to talk about pocketing and profiling because those are the most common. And I will uh, talk about profiling first. So if I click on profiling, it uh, opens up this uh, tool panel, or control panel. And again, we're going to work um, left to right, uh, bottom to top. So the first thing it's asking us to do is select um, the geometry we want to use to cut around. And um, for this, I'm just going to select um, some of this, some of these circles here, and okay. So we'll select those circles, and here it gives us a list of all the curves that we're using. Um, and if you select on one, you can sort of see the uh, color change. Um, which will help you pick out what, which one of these is being used. Um, so that's, we've got our geometry selected there. Next, we need to tell it what um, bit that we're going to be using. So we click on Tool, and I will use a quarter inch down cut to flute flat. Uh, so I'll select that and then go feeds and speeds and here I'm going to uh, load from tool which loads those presets feeds and speeds that I've already got dialed in and uh, so you can see how those changed. Um, clearance here we can leave set to automatic um, Cut parameters, uh, all these we can leave to the default, but here we are going to tell it which side of the geometry you want to cut on, and by default it uses uh, cut start side, and it will cut either on the right or left of your geometry, depending on which way the um, bit is traveling on your geometry. And <coughs> I have not figured out a good way to um, tell which way it's going. Um, and so it's always 50-50 for me. So I find it easier to do inside-outside because I can tell that what what's what there. So I click here and use inside-outside 
and here I want to cut on the inside of the line because I want the outside of those holes to be exactly the size that they are. So I'm going to select inside. If I wanted to cut on the other side, outside the line, so that um, the piece cut out is the exact size, then I would uh, do that. Basically, you're telling it which side to take the uh, kerf of the bit out of. So, inside. Next is cut levels. Here is where you tell it how deep you're going to cut and um, that kind of stuff. So my material, I've said, is um, a half inch thick, but I need to cut a little bit deeper than that um, to uh, make sure that I go all the way through. And um, I usually do between, um, you know, uh, one and two hundredths of an inch. So I'm going to do, I'll do 5.2. And um, then you have your choice of doing a rough and finish cut. Uh, we're almost always doing all uh, rough cuts with 2D. Um, so if you just click in that box, it automatically fills that in. And then <coughs> here are, uh, we def tell it how the maximum amount it can cut in one pass. And I know I'm using a quarter inch bit and that the feeds and speeds that I have set up in here are for um, cutting at 100% of the diameter of the tool. Uh, so if you're using our bits and our presets, you can um, go up to 100% of the diameter of the tool, which is, in this case, 0.25. It's a quarter inch bit. If you're unsure or you're using your own bit and you don't know have the feeds and speeds dialed in to yet, uh, you're better off going at 50% of the uh, diameter of the bit. Um, but I know that these settings work. So uh, <coughs> Entry, exit, this is all about mach machining efficiency. You can ignore that. Same with this stuff, although you might end up using tabs at some point, but we'll go over that in another tutorial. The next is sorting. This will have an effect on how long your cut takes. No sort, it um, will cut the, the geometry in the order selected. Minimum sort will try to figure out the next closest thing to cut. And directional, it cuts in the direction that it's going until it you know, runs out of geometry and then moves back to the next um, thing. I always do minimum sort. It seems like it's the most efficient, but you can play around with that if you want. So we get all those things set, and then we hit generate. And we see that it has um, made all of our tool paths. These uh, turquoise lines are the path that the tool is going to follow. Um, the red line is the is the uh, transfer line so that it um, this is the bit will start here cut out this circle move up cut out this one and along this path um, notice we're not seeing our uh, material there if we select the um, our MOP, which is Machining Operations um, set, uh, our uh, material will come back in.